All right, we're going to look at a sample validation rule and how to use the is changed uh, feature or um, function. Um, so down here, let's quickly first look at the definition of is changed. So checks if the field's value is different from its prior value and returns true if the values differ. So in this validation rule, you can see I'm using an and. So I'm checking this logical step and this logical step, and they both have to be true. So the first criteria is it has the owner ID changed? Has the uh, record owner, or we're on a lead, changed from when I edited and saved? Uh, is the pick list value of status closed, not converted? So the owner cannot change when the status equals closed, not converted is what we're checking for. If I come over here, I'm gonna change this to closed, not converted. And then I'm going to go ahead and try to change the owner here. You can see I get my pop-up. Owner cannot change when we do not call an email. When do not call and email opt-out are true. Um, so right there, it's blocking me from changing the ownership. You can see if I change it back. Oh, actually, I have a validation rule that I can't move backwards. But yeah, I was just going to move it back and then show that it would um, allow me to make that change as long as it wasn't in this status. So let's actually just pop open another lead. You see this one's open, not contacted. I'm gonna come in here and say, it's user. We hit another validation, rating can't be null. <laughs> as you can see, I'm using this for uh, many different reasons. Um, this little sample org. So we're gonna come back here. This, boom. All right, so that's just a quick little example of how to use the is change feature. Um, look out for more formula videos.